Hey guys, Ujwal here and today I'm going to show you what's under the hood of a car. Obviously, there's an engine under there, but I'll be talking about the basic engine components so that you can understand my further videos. So make sure to be subscribed and get notified. And let's just dive into it. Ye hai TDI which is turbocharged direct injection and jaise aap dekh sakte hain it's pretty tightly packed engine and looks plain but hame iska cover hatana hai so now you can see it's a bit more complicated with so much stuff going on here oh that's a turbo right there but it's a bit hard to start with so hum is engine ko simplify kar dete hain so ye hai baby engine 800 cc natural spirited from 2001 so let's just begin from the front where the engine breathes from this is a snorkel along with this air box consist of a resonator and an air filter just behind it there is an ambient air temperature sensor now the filtered air travels through this hose and encounters this throttle body isme ek throttle valve hota hai which is connected to your throttle pedal through this wire so just in line with this throttle valve it's a throttle position sensor along with this idling air control valve this basically controls the air while the engine is at idle just behind this throttle body it's a brake fluid reservoir on the top of master cylinder with the brake booster just above all this is wiper motor which obviously drives the wipers now the air passed from the throttle body to the intake manifold made up of plastic for weight reduction so the air through these ports enter the combustion chamber at the extreme end of these ports these are the fuel injectors mounted to the metallic fuel rail which is a part of mpi5 system above this there is a purge control carbon canister which basically converts the excess fuel vapors into a usable fuel and thus reduces the hydrocarbon emission now in front these are the high tension cables which feeds the high voltage current to these spark plugs now other end of these cables are connected to the distributor which distribute the current to the spark plugs at specific timings so this distributor is fed by this electronic ignition coil which produces stepped up 20000 volts of current for effective ignition control which ultimately creates a spark at these spark plugs to ignite the fuel now this thing is an engine oil dipstick where you can check your level and the quality of the engine oil alongside there is an engine coolant reservoir which holds the coolant and also uh, shows its level between the maximum and the minimum position on top of this engine uh, there is an engine oil filler cap right here in front we have the exhaust manifold on sides here sits the battery battery shows the state of charge green means fully charged white means not fully charged red means fully discharged so above this battery there is an fuse box of this car under the exhaust manifold it's a engine oil filter uh, this black cover hides the timing belt of the engine which drives the camshaft and the cooling pump of the engine so we almost done with this engine of it so this is the engine mounting which connects the engine to the chassis through this uh, rubber link to prevent vibrations enter the chassis and now we are done with this baby engine so let's just switch to tdi again so we are back again and now I have to snap again jadu no it's not there is the cover so there will be so much similarity it starts with this snorkel sits here the air sucks from here enters the air filter this is an uh, mass air flow sensor which measures the amount of air getting in the air from here enters the compressor side of the turbocharger where the air gets compressed then this compressed air is passed through this intercooler and then sent to this anti shudder valve which is like a throttle body but it's not now the compressed air enters the intake manifold which is a plastic because weight reduction so the air enters the combustion chamber from here itself 
right here we have the engine oil dipstick similarly shows the level and the quality of the engine oil on the left it's a coolant reservoir similarly shows the maximum minimum point of the coolant just behind this here's the brake oil reservoir on the top of master cylinder and the brake booster on this rear end there's an exhaust manifold where the exhaust gases are passed to this turbocharger and then ultimately discharged through the tail pipes also underneath this there's an agr system which is an whole another topic so be subscribed and stay notified now these four things are not spark plugs these are high pressure fuel injectors fed by this high pressure common rail so these injectors are controlled electronically by this ecu here these wires right here charge the heater or the glow plugs which preheats the fuel and thus helps in cold start of the engine this is a fuel filter which feeds the high pressure fuel pump and thus this pump pressurizes the common rail of this crdi system near this enter shutter well this is a metallic hose serve for the egr system which actually reduce the emissions above this all there is an engine oil cap or oh crap it's stuck i don't know why coming in the front there is an alternator under here which charges the battery also powers all the electrical systems so this is the battery shows its state of charge green white red here under the alternator this is an air conditioning compressor so all these components are driven by the crankshaft through this ripped v belt but the fuel pump the camshaft and the water pump is driven by the timing belt sits under this cover here in this car this master cylinder gives the brake pressure to this abs module here which ultimately controls the braking of each wheel electronically now the engine oil filter for this engine is bit different which is here along with the engine oil cooler underneath here we have the cooling fan cools the coolant oh that's right so this engine is suspended on this engine mounting along with this engine earthing wire so now i have covered this up and now you can see essentials only like this coolant and this dipstick a washer fluid etc so this is it for this engine and before wrapping this up uh, this is the car with the baby engine so now it's time to wrap this up so if you like this video give it a like a comment and share it this time around and i'll meet you guys in the next one thank you bye bye